let's go over how to do this awesome neon sports edit inside Adobe Photoshop. The first thing that we're going to do is drag a picture of the arena or stadium into our canvas. We're going to expand the arena so it covers the entire 1500 by 1500 canvas and then decrease the opacity to around 15%. Click the white layer below your background and go up to edit fill and we will fill this layer with black and it should look something like this. Pretty awesome. Now go up to image adjustments and click black and white. What this is going to do, it's going to take away all the color from your background image. Drag in your team's logo and go up to filter and then filter gallery. Hit the stylize button and we're going to select glowing edges. If you increase the edge width, it creates a larger glow area and edge brightness makes the colors of the glow closer to white. Something that I also do is I increase the smoothness to clear up some of the edges of the design. So now we have our neon logo in the background, but it's not the correct color. So we want to go up to image adjustments and then select hue and saturation. And then you can change the hue and saturation in order to get your desired color. This next step, we're going to learn how to see through your logo. So just the neon is showing. Go up to select and then you're going to want to hit color range. If you select the shadows inside the select menu, Photoshop will select the neon portion of your design. Next, hit the layer mask button and now you should see your neon go away. And obviously we want to keep the neon logo in the background, but we just want to be able to see through it. So press command I to invert this mask and now your neon logo should be good to go. Drag in one player image and let's go up to filter camera raw filter. In camera raw filter, we're going to increase the contrast because we will eventually add our own white to the player image. We can take down some of the whites. Now increase shadows, highlights, texture, clarity, as well as vibrance. Also, you want to add some sharpening to your player image in order to bring out some details on his face as well as his arms. Press OK and this is what it looks like before and here's the after. Create a new adjustment layer and go up to solid color and make sure white is selected. Right click and go to create clipping mask to attach it to your player image. With the layer mask selected, press command I to invert your mask. Flip your paintbrush to white so that we can paint on some dramatic highlights. You want to go along the very outside edges of your entire player. This will start to give you the look that the sign behind your player is neon and radiating some light onto the back of your player. This is what it looks like before and here's the after. So the overall goal is to make it look like the logo is reflecting light onto the back of your player. We are now going to create a second white color layer, but this time we want to decrease the flow to around 9 or 10%. We want to paint on a small highlight over the outside edges again. So now we should have a small bright highlight as well as a larger shadowy highlight that we just put on. If any of the highlights are too much for you, just reduce the opacity. The goal of this specific step is to brighten up the edges of your player. You can see how much of a difference it really makes in your overall design. Now there's not only white in the logo in the background, so we're going to have to add a bluish color as well. Create another adjustment layer and select the eyedropper tool on your toolbar. Now sample part of your player's jersey and go to new adjustment layer. And we're going to create a solid color layer. This creates a color fill that will match your player's jersey color. Now you can create a clipping mask and press command I. And now what we can do is paint that same color onto your player's skin. We want to make it look like the logo in the background is radiating that blue light onto our player's skin. This is what it looks like without any highlights or color, and here's what we have now. Now that we have highlights painted onto our player, let's also put some directly behind our player image. Select your logo layer and create a layer right above it. Now hit the paintbrush tool and have your color of your jersey selected. You now can paint on a blue shadow right behind your player, and the same step can be done with the color white as well. This really creates a glowing look for behind your player. An important detail when you're doing this is having your brush hardness set to zero. This gives it that glowy look that you can see on my graphic. Drag in one of my Patreon overlays into the design. I'll put a link in the description and we're going to put this on the blend mode exclusion. Right now it's a yellow color. So let's change this and go up to image adjustments and go to hue and saturation. 
change the hue and saturation sliders until it matches the color of the player's jersey. Drag in a second overlay, and for this one, we will put it on the blend mode color dodge. This overlay creates a really strong effect, so I'm going to hit the mask button and press command I, and then paint back in where I want this overlay to be. Remember that you need to have the paintbrush selected and the white brush activated in order to paint back in this overlay. The bottom of this graphic really needs something, so by adding this glowing smoke, it really will help your design. Put it on the blend mode lighten and it's going to look something like this. This is where the design really goes to the next level. We're going to add a number of adjustments to enhance the color as well as look to the overall design. So you guys aren't going to want to miss this part. First, create a new adjustment layer and then go to gradient map. Click on the gradient map and it should open this dialog box. Click on the color to the very left of your design and we want to change this color to the color of your jersey. Create a new color by clicking right below the gradient and we're gonna make this black. And lastly, click the color on the far right and change it to white. Now drag the black layer so it's in the center of the gradient and you should be getting some color coming through your player's skin. Press OK and then hit Command I to invert the mask. And we now can paint on some dark shadows. It's a really cool effect that I've done in a number of my videos and I really think it looks good on this graphic. With this effect, you wanna paint on where you think should be darker. So for example, I've made the bottom part of the jersey a little bit darker as well as some parts of his arms. You can see the difference in the before and after. All right, our next adjustment is gonna be vibrance. Increase the vibrance and saturation to enhance the colors in your sports edit. It should make your colors stand out more, but be very careful with this adjustment. It can be too strong at times. Add another adjustment layer, and this is gonna be a curves layer in order to increase the brightness of our design. The last color adjustment you will make is adding the color lookup Fuji 2395. You wanna reduce the opacity just a little bit. Press Shift, Alt, Command, and E in order to create a single grouped layer and then go up to filter and hit camera raw filter. While we are in camera raw filter, the first thing I wanna do is make the player blend into the scene a little bit better. So what I did was went into the color mixer and reduced the skin tone colors so it looked more greenish to match my scene. For you guys, it might be a little bit different. You might wanna make it more red or purple, whatever color your graphic is. Also, I recommend adding whatever your main color of your graphic design for example, mine is aqua, so you can see I added some of that back into the design so that all the colors pop more. Let's add some sharpening, clarity, and texture, as well as color noise reduction, and we should be good to go for this step of the design. You can see the before camera raw filter, and here's the after. The last step I want to show y'all is a really, really important step and can take the design to the next level. If you look closely, there's actually a shade of pink on the ball. So in order to get rid of that, we want to add a selective color layer. This is not the only adjustment we can make. I also want to change the color of the aqua in the background. So in order to do that, all I would need to do is go and select that color. In this case, it is the scions and then change the sliders to make it more of a bluish color like so. It's a great step and you can see how much of a difference it makes in the final result. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.